Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I love my Amazon Kindle and today I'm going to tell you about a feature that can save you a lot of money. In my own life, uh, being able to do this has saved me hundreds if not thousands of dollars. It all depends on how much you read. Stay tuned to find out. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. I also have all of the links to the Kindle models below in the description, even the new Paperwhite, and check out all my other reviews on the Kindles. The main way you can save yourself a ton of money with your Kindle is by renting digital books from your library. Yes, you can rent digital books that download directly into your Kindle and work just like checking out a book from your local library. Now, the main company that does this is called Overdrive and they partner with thousands of libraries across the country to do this. Step number one is to see if your local library has a partnership with Overdrive. So let me show you my screen and show you how to do it. Go to overdrive.com. And just so you know that there is no universal library borrowing system. It's all based on your local library network and the books that they choose to have you borrow. Um, so uh, click on the find a library top right hand corner. And it should bring up your local area. If this is not the area where your library is located, uh, go ahead and use the search box. So I'll do Colorado Springs. And this will show you all of the schools and the different library districts. I'm going to uncheck K through 12 because I'm not in that. Um, come down here and say, okay, Pike Speak Library District. So what I'm part of is the green. So I'm going to click on any of these green ones. And I'll have to visit library site. Now, this is going to be your main website to borrow books. Uh, you won't really have to go back to the Overdrive website because this is um, wherever you live. It now has its own sub website where you can get your books from. So from here, you can sign in. You are going to need a library membership. So if you don't have a library card yet, you either need to go in there or maybe for some of you, you can do it online. But you will need that library uh, card member number and to sign in with your PIN, uh, you, they will either ask you to create a, like a four digit PIN, or you can try to use initially the four digit uh, number of your date of birth. If you have any trouble, I've had to call my local library and they help me out straight away. So try that and I'm sure you'll get it to work. Okay, so from here, you wanna type in your card number, which mine's already in there and my PIN's in there, so I'll sign in. Okay, so from here, th now this is your home page. This is where you're going to be going. Uh, from now on, you won't have to go to overdrive.com, but you'll go to whatever this is. Mine's ppld.overdrive.com. So bookmark this, make a shortcut to it. From here, you can browse all the books that your district has decided to lend out. Let's search for a book. Let's search for my book. How should a Christian date? If you're into that sort of thing, it's available. I'm surprised it's not checked out. Well, I'm not going to borrow my own book, but uh, somebody should do that from this area. Okay, let's try a different one. Uh, let's try Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Stephen Covey. Lots of books I can borrow here, versions of this book. Also brings up uh, similar books. So I can borrow it, even an audio book. Uh, ebook I can borrow this one I have to place it on hold this would be an ebook um, and that means I would get one of the next um, ebooks that were available now keep in mind just because it's a digital book doesn't mean that they each don't require a license so some ebooks they've licensed like seven copies some one some you know ten just depending on how uh, popular the book is I've had to wait a like a day for a book and I've had to wait wait maybe three or four weeks for the most popular books but the thing is you're saving money um, and unless you need it right away just place it on hold now second thing to know is just because it's an ebook doesn't mean that it's a Kindle book 
So there's different types of ebooks. I'm I'm not sure why some are like an EPUB, EPUB format. Some are Kindles. Um, but if I um, borrow this one, okay. And if I say 21 days, let's see about this one. All right, this is a Kindle book because it says read now with Kindle. And I would click on this. It would take me to my Amazon account. If you weren't logged into Amazon, I was, you'll have to log in, get library book. I'm gonna say go to the Oasis, but it really goes to all of your devices. You can see how many I, I have. Cloud Reader, Kindle for PC, oh, lots of Kindles. Um, but get library book. And then just continue shopping. Once you get the book, it automatically shows up in your Kindle. I wanted to uh, film it so it would just appear, but by the time I got here, it's so fast that you see that the book is right here and just click on it to uh, read that. If it doesn't sync, just come up here and hit your um, menu and then hit the sync and that will get your latest items. Otherwise, it should use the whisper sync and come into your Kindle automatically. One thing I forgot to mention was that on the left menu, you can actually sort by different things. And one thing is the type of ebooks. So there's all these different types. So I just did a search for Civil War and I got a ton of results, actually 1,619 results. And um, coming up on the left here, uh, for sure, you can read it when it says Kindle book. And all these other ones really you could read with your Kindle, although a PDF will require a bit more work. But even on these uh, EPUB ones, when I clicked on some of these, it still asked me if I want to read it with my Kindle and, and get it from Amazon. So I'm not sure exactly the specifics on these, but I know for sure you won't go wrong uh, with if you filter by Kindle. Now, one other thing to note is that when you read and you highlight and you make little notes like I do, uh, those also sync from your borrowed books to your Amazon account. And that's a real handy feature. And even when uh, your period for borrowing is over, uh, those notes and those highlights will stay. Uh, so you can always go back and you can read those those notes and those highlights. But uh, if you highlight too much, I mean, I'm like a highlighting monster and over a 600 page book, I may have like five, eight pages of notes, of highlights and notes, but uh, it won't sync all of those. So just so you know uh, that, but if you're a normal person on a two, 300 page book, you should have all your highlights. One trick of the trade is if you find a book that you really like and you borrowed it for, let's say, 21 days or whatever the max is, or um, and then it expires, just keep it in airplane mode. And that way you can keep reading it. So come up here to your menu and uh, put it in airplane mode. Come on. It's hard to hold the camera and uh, touch the screen. Put it in airplane mode and then you can read for as long as you want. Now, I've done this many times. Maybe it's a little cheating. I don't know, but uh, that way the book won't get returned. The problem is, is when it's not syncing, then you won't be able to get new books. You won't be able to um, get your notes or your highlights synced. But hey, if you're in a pinch and you really want to finish a book, just don't. Um, uh, sync it and turn it on airplane mode. Let me know if that's worked for you. I wanted to also show you that you can use the Overdrive app. There's an app for it, of course there is, in the Kindle app. I use the Kindle app on my phone. Um, I know it might be in Ananthema to some, but I like walking on the treadmill and I'll read for a good um, hour. Probably not the best workout, but I can kill two birds with one stone. But on Overdrive, um, and there, just so you know, there is another app called Libby that they've been pushing, which works, I think, with Overdrive uh, to read books. But on your Overdrive app, you can um, borrow books or place a hold straight from here. And some of these books you can read on the Overdrive app, but most of them I borrow from here and then I will read them on the Kindle app. 
Hope that helps. Also, when your borrowing period ends, if you reborrow it or if you buy the book, I mean, many books that I borrow, I love them so much that I buy them. Um, when you go back to your Kindle and re-download it, it will um, start at the exact point that you left off, which is really handy. Now you know you can borrow books, sign up at your local library, and start saving lots of money with your Kindle. I think it could pay for itself pretty easily. Check out the description below with all the links to the latest Kindles. I just did a couple of reviews on the new Paperwhite that came out, so let me know what you think. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, please like it, please subscribe, make a comment, and if you have a question, I promise I'll answer you the best that I can. Thanks so much for watching.